Thank you. 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 Thank
all these other body parts and, and I mean, oh, you have an arm a, here and a sure, ear we've, there. We've got arms and corpses lying all over the place here. See, now, actually, every time Tom comes here, and I think the audience probably senses this, too, if you've seen any of the movies, you get kind of an eerie feeling that when you show well, up Well, I'm here, scared. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> you probably create things that scare you, huh? Well, no, I don't... Nothing scares me anymore, you know. I, I've done the worst that could possibly, you know, be... You know. Well, I think we're get, what we're going to do, we're going to take a break and come back and talk more about what Tom uh, has created, but I get the feeling that, that you haven't come here alone today. Things follow me all the time. I, I can't get rid of them. You know, maybe we should look around in our temporary studio here and see what we see. Oh, oh I knew it. We're in big trouble. thought that we've lost our heads by bringing this to you. But anyway, we're talking with Tom Savini today, who is a master creator of uh, illusions. And uh, actually, it all it is illusion, too. There's nothing ever really violent that happens in the films, is there? Hmm? Vi are you kidding? Look at this. No, but I mean, that's all this illusion. Is... This oh, obviously... sure, absolutely. It's just sure. nothing more than a blob of rubber with glass eyes and plastic teeth. And this is five-minute epoxy, so the, the shiny, that shiny stuff stays shiny there. It's red paint. This is yak hair. <laughs> Yak hair. Sure, you buy it. Uh, you buy it by the pound from a guy named Bob Kelly in New York. You know, it's there crimped or uncrimped, straight. Or and you brought Fluffy back too. Yeah, I'm where, like, how where, can I possibly come here without Fluffy? Where I can't recognize oh. Fluffy from the back. Oh, there. There you go. The hair looks a lot. Yeah, this is also yak hair. Of course, if you all saw Creep Show, Fluffy was the big star of Creep Show. And yeah, you want to make him more? Made here? Adrian Barbeau look absolutely gorgeous well, by comparison. Yeah. <laughs> Gobbled it up, her up in a few bites. Let's see, there. Can you get it? Oh, there, there, there you go. Look at that. Or it'll snarl one, one side at a time, the, um, the eyebrows. Oh, there, look at that. Ah, looks like a politician <laughs> at the convention. Let's see, I think. Seeing this state of Colorado, 12 votes. She also breathes. Oh, here. Oh, look at that. And again, that's five minute epoxy on her lips. To, I keep calling him her. First time I've called him her. Anyway, to make the lips uh, stay shiny. And this was the puppet. Let's see. Oh, that's the, the one. That... Yeah, I don't think we had this on. Let's... No, we didn't. Let me, let me move Fluffy out of the way here. Now, in the movie, there was an actor inside this suit with special lenses in his eyes to make him look like he had cat eyes. And the suit was so heavy, he couldn't move around very quickly. And these teeth are very sharp. They'll cut you. So I made this one that could turn and snap, you know? Boy, even though I know, that's, that is. Give me your hand a second. Now, see, these are rubber teeth. Oh, gee, oh. These I'm teeth will cut you, but this was, like when he had to bite Adrian Barbeau on the yeah. side of the neck, we had to make him safe to do that. Doesn't that look deadly like that, to put, put your arm in there? Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's, boy, right after lunch, too. The, oh. Well, how do you, now, how many people do you have employed when you're really on a project? I mean, a whole bunch of people working on these, or do you do oh, sure. most of the work and then they copy no, what no, you No, no, I've got a, uh, an excellent crew uh, sitting at home watching right now that, that helped me do this stuff. One guy, uh, Dave Kinlan, does all the mechanical work. Didn't do Fluffy, but he's doing mm -hmm. mechanical work for me now. Uh, and John Volich, a sculptor, um, um, and uh, <laughs> Greg Nicotero, sitting in the audience, my assistant. But you usually um, sketch him out first, do you, or do people come to you with ideas who work? Well, sometimes the, sometimes the scripts are really uh, explicit about what they want. Sometimes, like, in Fluffy's case, the script simply said, uh, we see a blur of fur and some teeth. Well, that left it wide open, so sure. I had a bunch of sketches done by, by a guy, then I submitted some sketches, and one of my sketches with Fluffy, and they chose that one, and that's how Fluffy came to be. Okay. But this takes five people to operate. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it, it depends on the film, too. You said how many people. Uh, I only had two people on Creep Show. Now I have five or six on cool. Day of the Dead. Mm. Let's take a quick call, too. On line five, you're on Pittsburgh Today. Line five, are you there? Yes, sir. Yeah, Is go right ahead. John Wade? Yes. Well, good afternoon. I have a question for Tom. Okay, go right ahead. Um, sir, I would like to say that uh, I admire your work, and it, it's you. fantastic. It's just fabulous what you can do with uh, your materials and your talent. Uh, my question is, I wondered, is there a type of material, artistic material, that can be put on human skin to fill out an indentation on the skin, sure. rather than have cosmetic surgery, because I was going to have uh, collagen fill in for an indentation. Right. Um, well, I would, I, I know about that treatment, and it really works. 
um, uh -huh. I think it's a lot would be a lot easier for whoever needs it to, to do that than to say use mortician's wax which is something you would have to you know spread on in the morning and yeah oh, that's the oh. name of that it's mortician's wax yeah 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 that'll, that'll do it that'll give that'll that'll make your smooth really slick and and but it won't last it'll melt or crack or yeah I guess especially yeah. if you were a smoker or something huh I don't know. I don't know. I've never even thought of doing that. I mean, if I had to do it, let's say I had an actor who was, oh, scarred or something and had to fill in some deformation, I'd use that stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, that would look natural? Oh, yeah, it would look very natural. It would bend and flex. Um, uh -huh. And where would you pur purchase? I think there's a, you, either, any of the costume shops in Pittsburgh, Costume World, I think, is one. Uh, mm -hmm. There's one on Forbes Avenue. Uh, maybe that is Costume World, I'm not sure. Or Costumes Unlimited. Yeah, right. They should have it. Okay, and that's yes. called mortician's wax. Yeah, or derma wax. Derma wax is a brand name. You could try that. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, and thank you very much. Thanks a lot. That's and keep up the good work. You do fantastic work. Thank you. Good. Thanks very much. We, before we look at the rest, let's. We got to see this uh, skeleton. Oh, this, this is an actual skeleton. Right. Um, we had to buy five or six human skeletons. Um, uh, where do you buy those? Uh, you you to... buy them from a place called Carolina Biological in, in North Carolina. <laughs> and they send us, th this is a real human skeleton that we've decorated with uh, cotton and latex. Uh -huh. They all come from India. All the boxes that they ship these in, I, I think they have to label them uh -huh. as to where they come from. And they all come from India. I guess we send them our skeletons? I don't know, I don't know what we send them, maybe. Anyway, so he, he's not finished yet. Wheat. This is all Gee, this covered with rubber. Looks a little thin now. Maybe we can get a shot at this one over here. Oh, this, this, this one lying here is made of, in fact, we're going to be able to get a, a shot. Looks like, uh, let me sit down here and move okay. him over. Now, what is, what is he made of? He's, uh, it's, a, it's a latex skin with uh, uh, an expandable foam inside. In other words, we pour the foam in and it expands and fills all the crevices once the latex is in. Is this around a skeleton, too? Or is it? Uh, no, uh, actually, a guy named Steve Johnson uh, sculpted this. Steve uh, lives in Hollywood, worked on the Ghostbusters and, and Greystoke with Rick Baker. And this is one of his bodies. I, was, I saw them at a party of his. And so we farmed out uh, this little job. We bought these bodies from him, and we'll use them in the movie. Doesn't and now it looks like he probably did sculpt it over a skeleton, but yeah, I'm not positive. Well, isn't it funny? He says, we bought these bodies. <laughs> yeah. so, but if anybody tuned in now, they're from a foreign country, they'd say, I knew America was like that. They take advantage of everybody. Just everywhere. buy bodies, right? Now, these are, any of these are from the new series, or? Oh, no, no. This is from Creepshow. This is okay, that. these are ones that had been used. Right. Look right. out, Fluffy. All right. You all right? This we bought. Uh, there's, a, there's a makeup artist named Ed French, and we called him and said, have you got any body parts laying around? And he said, well, I've got these burned hands. Ooh. So we bought these from him. They may, I think they were What's the going for price them? for burned hands? <laughs> that sounds terrible. We got these pretty cheap, actually. Oops. Oops. Oh, oh he just... <laughs> Let's hear it for the skeleton. Just, it just decided to... Okay, just went so. back to India. A little rat here. Oh, look at that. Check that Maybe out. we could pass that. Do you want to pass the rat around? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> they look so pass oh, it around if you want. And this one. Well, now that rat was made for a movie called Maria's Lovers. Uh, uh -huh. They filmed it in Brownsville. Um, Canon Films, Robert Mitchum, Nastasia Kinski. There's a scene where the rat, uh, this big disease rat, walks in the room and, cr and John Savage is having a nightmare. It's part of a nightmare sequence where. The rat crawls on the bed and crawls into his mouth, like halfway down his throat. Ooh. So half a rat had to stick out of his mouth and uh, looking alive, so we built this mechanical one. Oh, let's see, maybe we can get the bottom of it right here, oh, yeah, you can see. see. So that's, that's the mechanic. Yeah. Now we would, uh, uh, the actor would wear this in his mouth and his tongue would operate the tail like that. See the tail going oh, back and forth? Gee. And then we would press a switch over here. And, well, the legs aren't connected, you see, but these oh, little yeah. motors make the legs, like, go crazy, and when the tail is moving, it looks like it was alive. Yeah. Do actors ever balk, or actors, actresses balk at doing yeah, some of these things? Yeah, he did. Uh, he, uh, he insisted on a closed set when we did this scene. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Just putting a rat in your mouth. <laughs> well, the rat was, was nude <laughs> or something. He didn't want... And this is... That's from... Uh, Creepshow. Right. Yeah, that's this from uh, E.G. Marshall. Right. right, this is the head where all the cockroaches came. If you saw the film, this chest burst open and all these cockroaches come out like that. They also came out of his mouth first. We pumped them. Well, we had the large syringe that was screwed into this hole. We pumped blood into the opening and the cockroaches got all covered with blood. So when they came out, they left little cockroach footprints all over. I know, it's a living. What can I say? Tom. <laughs> Tom, he's a sick man, but a nice no, man. I, I don't understand. I'm not a sick man. I, 
This is a living. I mean, some people have to uh, <laughs> help plumbers, and I do special effects. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's great to see you again. My we pleasure. wish you well. And we uh, want to make known that it starts the series probably around the 24th, and then uh, Tom's uh, particular episode is probably three or four or five weeks in there, right? Right, right. It'll What's the title the of your episode? Inside the Closet. Inside, Inside the, closet, the Closet. Because, I mean, that's uh, Tales from the Dark Side on CBS. And, Tom, it's great to see you. And we hope My you pleasure. drop back regularly. Hope you get some sleep, too. Yes, yeah, thanks. We don't want you coming in here looking like one of these sometimes. Um, well, I don't know which one that would. Probably this guy. <laughs> okay. Last time. You don't, you're not wearing your eyes and your teeth today. No, I thought either. I wouldn't bring those today. You Next look, time. Your folks will love you this way. <laughs> We're going to take a break, and guess who's here? Clara Peller. Gonna be right back. Oh, there's a rat. Be right back. Nice hands for Tom Savini.